In this relatively short video, I'm going to walk you through a CFA level one exam style question on the topic of capitalizing the subsequent expenditure on property, plant and equipment. Now, once again, this is a relatively simple concept, hence a short video. However, there are a few details which you should know. And uh, if you want to get them right, keep watching and let's get solving. This is the question I want us to have a go at. Which of the following costs is least likely, do bear in mind, least likely to qualify for capitalization? A. Installing a centrally controlled air conditioning system in an office building. Or B. Repainting the interior walls of a factory facility as part of routine maintenance. Or perhaps C. Reinforcing the floor of a warehouse so as to facilitate the storage of heavier goods. Now, what do we mean by capitalization? If you haven't heard this term before, then you should absolutely get acquainted with it. It does come up quite a lot in CFA level one exam questions on the topic of financial reporting and analysis. Capitalization means including a cost or an outlay of funds in the carrying amount, meaning the balance sheet value of an asset. And this is going to be the direct opposite. So I'm going to say instead of taking that cost, taking it to the income statement. So taking an, a cost, an expense to the income statement as a negative figure is going to be called expensing and capitalizing is the very opposite of expensing. So treat capitalization as the contradiction of expensing a certain cost. Okay, so the question is which of those um, costs should be capitalized versus expensed? i.e. taken to the income statement. And there's a very general rule concerning this um, within IFRS and I guess within US GAAP as well. The items that qualify for capitalization are the ones, or we should be capitalizing them. So costs are capitalized, or expenditure is capitalized only if they are expected to provide benefits over a period of more than one year, that's one thing. That's uh, you know that sh that that's a condition which makes it an item eligible for inclusion under property plant and equipment um, as a raising of the asset value. But more importantly, they should extend the useful life of the asset beyond what was originally expected or planned, or maybe in some way improve its functionality. Once again, beyond what was initially expected when you bought that asset. So let's begin with A. Installing a centrally con a controlled air conditioning system in an office building, I guess, will provide benefits over a period of more than one year, okay? And I guess it does improve quite substantially the functionality of the office building, so it does add some realistic value. And therefore, A would definitely qualify for capitalization, which doesn't make it the answer to this question because we're looking for the item which is least likely to qualify. Now, let's take a look at C, reinforcing the floor of a warehouse so as to facilitate the storage of heavier goods. Once again, that's an investment which will probably provide benefits for a period of more than one year. And it does indeed improve the functionality of the warehouse. So C would qualify for capitalization. However, repainting the interior walls of a factory facility as part of routine maintenance wouldn't. Now, be careful. Whenever you see the phrase routine maintenance, 
which may be thrown into a question, that's a trigger, that's a warning sign that we're dealing with a cost that's not going to be eligible for capitalization. Why is that? Because routine maintenance is synonymous not with extending the, the useful life of the asset or improving its functionality. Routine maintenance, as opposed to some kind of development or enhancement, is only supposed to maintain the original expected useful life um, or, you know, stroke um, functionality of the asset. Yes, when you initially move into a factory or, you know, factory facility, you plan to use it for a relatively long period of time, maybe 20, 30 years or something like that. And in order to keep that functionality, you will from time to time have to perform some routine maintenance, including minor repairs or maybe repainting of the walls, fixing some fixtures and fit fittings which may have been used up. But that doesn't in itself extend your expectation of how long you will use the asset, nor does it add any functionality beyond what was originally expected. So routine ma maintenance, if you see that term, it doesn't qualify for capitalization or these expenses don't. So C, this item is going to be the correct answer to the question because we are looking for the item that's least likely to qualify for capitalization.